to all from the sunny west coast. My name is Chris and I'm going to tell you about the top five articles on opensource.com this week. At the number five position, Seth Kenlon tells us about Planter, a Python tool that assists in organizing the contents of project folders. Planter is controlled by a simple user interface and user configurable templates written in YAML, which is yet another markup language, to create a standard configuration. The article explains the various options in straightforward language. If your job requires setting up project directories that tend to start out looking similar to one another, you need to look at this tool right away. At number four, Scott Nesbitt reviews several Linux desktop image viewing tools that provide a bit more functionality than just viewing. Yet don't attempt to do everything that GIMP does. I haven't used any of the four main applications introduced in the article, but I can see that I would appreciate the thumbnail preview provided by Ristretto and Mirage, as well as the ability to fix metadata provided by Nomax. Time to try these out myself on the computer we use to keep the family photos. At number three, Greg Pittman reminds us to read the fine manual. As a big fan of manual pages, they were the core of my self-administered introduction to a System V course back in 1984. I find this to be a timely reminder of the great value contributed by the community. Beyond code, this article does a great job of gently introducing the standard man page layout and typical contents as well as the structure of man page collections. Very nice. At number two, Dave Neary explains how to customize the command prompt presented by the shell in a terminal window. This article is oriented toward people whose workflow involves spending time in a terminal window and who may well be interested in seeing certain configuration information presented in a command prompt, such as the current time, working directory, or the name of the computer for those who are often logged into other systems. If you work in the terminal window on a regular basis, this article is well worth a look. And at number one, drum roll, Daniel J. Walsh gives us the lowdown on the evolution of Linux containers. I confess, I'm a bit of a container Luddite, but even so, I found this article interesting and informative, covering the history of containers and components like Docker and Kubernetes used to manage them, as well as a look at the current state of the container universe. A worthwhile read for anyone with an interest in this kind of technology, even those of us like me, who refuse to admit it.